Let's import HeapQ module, which provides an implementation of HeapQ algorithm, which is priority queue. Let's create an empty list minimum heap, which will use heapq.heap5 function to turn this list into a minimal heap data structure. So this heapq.heap5 function is used to convert a list into a heap data structure, which is a binary tree that satisfies the heap property. Let's create a list heap with initial values 3, 2, 1, and we use the heapq.heap5 function to turn the list heap into a minimal heap data structure. Now, the heap is minimal heap, which containing the elements 1, 2, and 3, and the elements in the heap are organized so that the smallest element 1 is at the root of the heap, and each parent node is less than or equal to each child node. So the heap file process organizes the elements in the list in a way that satisfies the heap property. The default Python only supports minimal heaps, but by indirectly using heap queue module, we can create a maximum heap. First, we create a list maximum heap with initial values 1, 2, 3. Our trick is to multiply each element by negative 1. We multiply each element in the maximum heap by negative 1. We're using a list comprehension negative x for x in maximum heap. So the result is in the new list with the value negative 1, negative 2, and negative 3. And then we heapify the modified list by using the heapq.heapify function. We turn the modified list into a minimal heap data structure. So this minimal heap data structure will have the element negative 3, negative 2, and negative 1. The top element of the modified minimal heap is negative 3, which is the smallest element in the modified set. We multiply the top element by negative 1 again to get the maximum value from the original list. Yes, to find the maximum value in the original data set, we have to convert the negative 3 into positive 3. So it is the maximum value in the original maximum heap. Now we have a maximum heap, which is indirectly created using heap Q. We can use another heap Q functions with the modified values, but we have to multiply the results by negative 1 to convert them back to the original values as we need.